What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to talk a little bit about protein bars, okay? Because I get a lot of questions about them and I'm going to be honest with you, 99% of who talks about these are women. Women competitors, bikini figure, physique, or people, women that are just trying to stay in shape and that are looking for an easy fix for a meal because they don't have time or they don't want something that tastes bad or they're sick of eating their diet food or whatever. So let me start out by saying these are my opinions and what I think about these products, okay? And the research that I've done on them is all based in my opinions, okay? So things that I've observed. So before this company that, excuse me, I'm about to talk about gets their pennies in a bunch and gets pissed at me, which I really don't fucking care because it's my opinion. So Quest Bars has been the biggest thing and the hottest thing ever, okay? I've had every bikini competitor, every figure competitor that I've ever come in contact with go, oh my god, the Quest Bars, you have the Quest Bars? The Quest Bars are so awesome. Do you guys have Quest Bars? Do you do those on your diet? Quest Bars, Quest Bars, Quest Bars. I'm like, what the fuck is a Quest Bar? I've been around for a long ass time and I know what protein bars are. What's a Quest Bar? Does it come from another planet? Is it like a kryptonite bar? What the fuck is it? It's a company. Quest is a company. And the reason why that they're always asking about them, this is a Quest Bar wrapper, because I had to go out and say, you know what? What is the big deal with all these Quest Bars? I got the fruit one because I like fruit flavor. So I said, okay, let me try this one. Now I keep hearing about this cookie dough one, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So I run through this thing, and the first thing in the protein blend is whey protein isolate, which is a good whey protein, okay? Legit, okay. The next one, milk protein isolate. Still a good protein source, so that's what's in it. And that's when they start to get into these esmolito augulosaccharides, which is a man-made fiber that is supposed to be prebiotic. So I looked this stuff up, and... One of the side effects of this stuff is bloating, okay? You get really bloated in your stomach because you can't digest it very well. And you get this distended stomach. Now, some people can get this stuff through the system better than others. Some can't. But the problem is, is these things have flavors in them. This one has almonds, has freeze-dried blueberries and strawberries, sea salt, uh, lohanguo, I don't know what the hell it is, sucralose. So, I mean, this one's not really that bad when you first look at the... Um, the label, it has 18 grams of dietary fiber, 2 grams of sugar in it, and 22 grams of carbs. This is a carb bar. This is not really the ones that the women are eating. They're eating the low-carb bars, or the no-carb bars, they call them, that have sugar alcohols in them. Now, the sugar alcohols do affect blood sugar. I don't give a shit what anybody says. The studies are proven it affects blood sugar at about 50% the rate of a normal sugar, which means that if you're on a ketogenic diet or a low-carb diet, you are essentially still eating sugar. You're eating sugar alcohols. It's working the same way. Not only that, but the sugar alcohols have the same effect on the brain with the dopamine release as sugar. This is why these bars are so popular. Not because they're actually good for you or they're any better for you than any other bar out there, but because the taste of them triggers that sugar craving and takes care of it. And these people think, oh, well, you know, there's no sugar in it, but the sugar alcohol, it's the same thing. You're causing the same reaction. And I'll tell you right now, if the women are eating these bars, these women are not sticking to their meal plans. They're having a very hard time sticking to the meal plans and sometimes abandoning them all together, saying, I can't, I can't, I can't. And they have no idea that what they're doing is triggering that sugar response over and over again. The dopamine levels and the blood sugar rises and then falls. And they're having that drop in blood sugar. It makes them hungry. So now they have, oh, I want something sweet and I'm hungry. They're having these, let's shut this uh, message off. They're having all these things go on that they're making that's working against them. Because they're eating this bar that's advertised as being like a no-carb, low-carb, perfect thing for low-carb dieting. And it's false. The advertising is false. What they're doing is using truth in advertising. They can make your, you understand what something is by giving you their own truth in advertising what it is. Is it less effective than a sugar for a regular sugar for increasing blood sugar? Yes, it's not as effective, but it still happens. You can't just give these things to diabetics and say, hey, you're all set. No, they will still have a diabetic reaction to them. That means it does something to your blood sugar. We already know it causes the cravings. So what is the big deal? Taste. Everybody wants taste. Let me tell you something right now. If it tastes too good to be true, it possibly is. Okay? And the only thing I've ever tasted to this point in my life, ever, that was tasting good, that actually didn't cause any kind of blood sugar or sugar cravings, and didn't have any garbage inside of it, any kind of man-made garbage fibers or whatever that bloat you, was the Big Bitch formula. That's the only thing I've ever seen. And the sweetener that's in it is why it tastes like that, okay? It is an artificial sweetener, and that's, it's on the label. 
Now, getting back to the part about bloating, as this fiber makes you bloat, that bloat causes inflammation. Inflammation is bad. That is bad on so many levels. Now, some of these women are eating two or three of these bars a day, and it has one of two reactions, major constipation or extreme diarrhea, one or the other. And the inflammation in your body, if you know anything about the human body, when you have inflammation, your body's first thing is to get rid of that inflammation. Not burn body fat, not build muscle, not make you feel good. Get rid of the inflammation because it's a bad thing. It's causing bad reactions in your body. So now, I'm not really trying to, I'm not really understanding what's so great about these bars if they cause inflammation, bloating, blood sugar issues, and cravings on a diet to make you go off your diet. What the fuck is so great about them? The taste. So here we lie again. Well, you don't have to have something tasty, tasty, tasty. And rather than taking spices and things and doing it to a natural, clean, wholesome food and getting it done like that, they look for the shortcut, the bar. What's easier to do? What's the easiest thing for me to take? What's the tastiest thing? And it's not working. And now I see all these, these women gaining weight, telling me how great they are and how awesome they are in the diet, but they're gaining fat. How great for it is you? Uh, is, how great for you is it? <laughs> I'm not even dieting. If you're gaining fat, yes, the rest of your diet has to be in check, but these things are not helping. They're making it worse. Now, the only bar that I've ever seen that doesn't have any garbage in it, the only one, and I don't even know if this guy, there's a guy named Eric Ecken wrote at our gym, and anybody at our gym knows exactly what I'm going to say right now. He's been making something called the Brick Bar, okay? The Brick, quick background on the Brick. He used to compete in the, as a bodybuilder, and he would make this concoction into a ball, put it in his bag, and chomp on it throughout the day. And the competitors would see him, and he was winning. So they were, what the heck is that? And it was his own concoction. What he did was take that concoction, form it into little squares that look like bricks, and calls it the brick, the better building block, the building block for better health. Okay? Here's what's in the brick. Okay? So the almond cinnamon raisin, you have 270 calories, 44 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 15 grams of sugar, 19 grams of protein. Oats, whey protein concentrate, raisins, ground almonds, 100% white grape juice, Vegetable, glycerin, honey, canola oil, and cinnamon. That's what's in it. None of the man-made crazy stuff that goes into the other things. Pure wholesome foods. Okay? The other one, the peanut butter chip. Oats, whey concentrate, peanut butter, semi-sweet chocolate chips, white grape juice, and honey. Nothing bad in there whatsoever. And these things not only taste good, but they're the best thing out for you out there. And they digest well and help you get to your goal. Now, they're higher in carbs, so obviously you're not going to eat these if you're doing a low-carb diet. But... That's something that's wholesome. That's something that's legit. That's something you digest. That's something that doesn't harm you. And that Quest stuff, the other stuff, I mean, honestly, I ate the one bar, so I don't know what the big deal is. I really don't. It's okay, but it's now soon becoming a fad. It's because one of these bikini competitors or fake competitors will talk to the other one, talk to the other, and they get all these flavors and all this stuff. Oh, you can have this and still lose weight and da-da-da. But none of them are losing weight on it. All of them are gaining weight. So be aware. Just because something is advertised the way that it's supposed to work doesn't mean it's going to work like that. And do the research. It took me two seconds of Googling to find out what that man-made fiber was and what kind of side effects could come from it and why there's such a sweet flavor in this bar from those sugar alcohols they put in it to cause blood sugar rises and crashes and triggering that sweet tooth. BioSteadTraining at gmail.com. I'm BioS3 and approve this message. Remember, this is all my opinion. And that's the brick bicep. And we're out. So Jerry just tried the... Um Quest Bar peanut butter cup thing, the new thing, and he's trying to do... What are you trying to do? What's wrong? Fucking eat it. What's wrong? This stuff fucking sucks. What's wrong with it? And I'm why can't you open your mouth? I'm gluing my mouth shut. <laughs> it turns into like fucking powder in your mouth. I keep hearing, oh, Quest Bar, fucking Quest, 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 by every fucking bikini <laughs> competitor, now, every figure competitor. The, the best things like fucking God created Quest Bars because fucking the world needed them. That's all right. These two little peanut butter cup shits. Name a swallow it. That <laughs> look like Reese's peanut butter cup that turned into fucking peanut butter powder. I, I swear to God. Can you see it? <laughs> Can you see all that shit? Gross. Can you see it? It's fucking stuck everywhere. My throat, like. Oh, man. And you had the peanut butter cup, so it wasn't a bar. It was the new peanut butter cups that are supposed to be like the coolest thing for dieting if you want a Reese's. I don't give a shit. I would rather not eat it, honestly. I would rather just drink water than to have to do that. It's going to take me this whole friggin' liter to get that goddamn thing down. That's my water. Well, not anymore, it's not. But <laughs> <laughs> look, you leave like remnants of like. Ew. This shit.
<laughs> you know, I mean, I'm all for man made chemicals and stuff that, you know, because I'm not like, I'm not paleo guy, I'm not fucking organic guy, but this stuff, fuck that.